Here we are. This is 805 Belmont Road. It's a beautiful stone cottage. It's detached. Just come this side and I can show you the gable. Okay, so that isn't the driveway to this property. It gets better and better, this. So we have here a dual entrance drive with a double garage. <laughs> so if I come along here, let's turn the camera, give you the views, completely open at the front here. I'm afraid we're into the sun, but we'll do our best. So it's an in and out driveway. And not only have we got a double garage, but there's space for another one there. There's double gates. And we've got more space here, which you can see goes to the fence there. So if we spin it around, parking clearly isn't an issue. And here now we've got the garden. Now I'll go into the garden just because we're conveniently placed for it. I'm sorry about the sun, but we'll, we'll do our best. So there's a nice big greenhouse. Now we get into a little bit of shade. There you can see the backdrop. There we go. The garden's beautiful. So if you've got a caravan, a motorhome, whatever, you can bring it in here and park it on this patio. And you get a better idea of the house itself, perhaps from here. So, the garden cuts across here and then it goes straight. So it's a sort of dog leg. Look at all that. Isn't it beautiful? Picture postcard. And a gorgeous monkey tree, look. So, we'll cut across here. And again, the garden dog legs back. I'm going to take you on a walk around it. There we are. At the moment, we're fairly early in the morning. The, uh, this section's in shade, so you get sun and shade. Come around this way, and again, you can see the house. So the garden really is a feature of the property, as is the parking. The cottage itself, we think, is about 150 years old, originally, that is. Since then, certain things have been added. So here's the back section. We'll patio off the door. That's the door into the kitchen. And we'll, we'll see that in a minute. Okay. So the conservatory area here. This is the back of the garage. And we'll go back out through the gate. You're on telly. <laughs> oh yes, we're filming. Yeah, all yours, all yours, thanks. Yeah. That's the gardener come to do his things. So, we will endeavour to actually show you the house now. So there we go, it's definitely 8.05. Just pop the light on. So it's quite a spacious entrance hall and it's had a new modern staircase installed at some point. We've got some expensive carpeting here. I, I believe it's uh, Crossley Sultana. I can't guarantee that. <laughs> Another carpet expert. 
Um, so we have gas central heating. Anyway, I'll spin this round and you can see. So Georgian windows. And these are actually double glazed, well that window is. And at the bottom of the hall, so two radiators in this hall, cloaks cupboard and uh, a downstairs loo. Nice big front room. So two windows on this and we've got exposed stone walling on two of the walls. Okay. So I don't know if you would use that as a dining room or a lounge, it's whatever you would prefer. It's quite deceptive, there's a lot of space with this property. And this is now into the main room. I call it the main room, it's a more the living room. The sun shines through on a lovely day like this. There's a fireplace there with a gas flame fire. And it's spacious when you look at the furniture that's in the room. We have a, a bureau, full-size uh, suite. So it's very spacious, nice size. I'll try and get it from different angles for you. Yeah, so you have a window on the, the side here and a window on the back. Plenty of light. Do you know, it, it's a bit like a TARDIS, isn't it? It's a very spacious family home. So, this room into the kitchen. There we go. Let's get it back. Whoops. The door's deciding to close on us. So we'll go in. Built-in oven, microwave, gas hob. Um, these are, um, I think they call it bleached oak, these cabinets. That's the door out into the garden, the patio beyond. Central heating, boiler, combi. There we are. Mustn't moan about the sun really, must we? It's just nice to have it. Okay, so technically dining room, sun lounge. Um, we've already got a dining room, but this is more of a sort of a family come garden room. Um, and it's been opened out into a conservatory, basically. We've got some features on the ceiling. That's uh, wood, ceramic tile floor, and radiator. Uh, but this room, very, very private, overlooking that beautiful garden. There we go. Okay, through this door. Into the, uh, the garage. So the garage is, uh, how can I put this? It, it, well, you can see it's got twin up and over doors. This area here is a bit shorter because that part has been sectioned away from it and they put the washing machine behind it as a utility area. So you could probably get a small car in here, but it would be a small car, and you could put any size car you like in there as long as it goes through the, uh, the garage doors width-wise, which is only a standard entrance. Okay. Mm. Ceiling good, roof good. Everything's looking okay. So again, we've taken a little bit off of this garage, which is in, included within this room here. Okay, 
Right, let's uh, pop upstairs. Back through this big lounge. And up the stairs. This is the, uh, the landing here, and you can see the sloping timber clad ceiling. There you go. Through an arched doorway into the landing central. On our left here, we have a bedroom. That one looks like a three-quarters bed. You could easily get a double in here. Okay. Next room on our left, a similar size room. And don't forget, it's a completely open aspect. You've got a, a Belmont Road to the front and... Um, whoops, daisy. Fields through here. There. Gives you the aspect. Bedroom. There we go. Bedroom three, of course. There we go. And the bathroom. So there's a shower that runs off the uh, boiler system. And uh, just a linen cupboard there. So basically that's it. So we've got a garage plus, um, well it looks as, remember it looks particularly as a double garage, twin garages. But the one on the left is um, of a shorter length than the one on the right. We just want to be fair on this. And the other point to make is that uh, in approximately 10 years ago, uh, there was some work done to the property um, for some, uh, what was decreed to be some differential subsidence. Now this work cost £8,835 according to the receipts and was completed under the auspices of uh, AXA Insurance with uh, a completion certificate to its structural adequacy and everything being okay. Um, we, we, not wishing to alarm you with this, the idea is to be transparent, uh, there's nothing to hide, the completion certificates etc are there and all the paperwork is available to um, seriously interested parties to peruse and satisfy themselves and of course would be available to anybody surveyor that came so nothing to hide everything's good and um, here we are 805 Belmont Road now if you'd like to see this lovely property please remember viewings are strictly by appointment only and we should be delighted to show you through. We're available seven days a week and uh, here to help and assist in any way that we can. Thank you so much. Should you wish to view this property or have a valuation on your own, please visit us at cardwells.co.uk or alternatively via the contact details on screen.